Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video we will learn the 10 most used formulas in Excel. All right. So here is a raw data sheet that I have created which we would be using to do totals or do examples. All right. So the first formula we are going to learn is called the sum formula. It allows you to add stuff. All right. So how do we add stuff now? So this is a bit too lengthy. Okay, this would be great. All right, and over here, I'm going to type is equal to sum, which is the formula to add numbers, all right? And now it says number one, comma, number two, and so on. So what you can do is you can select a cell containing a number, press comma, select another cell containing a number, press comma, select another cell containing a number, and so on and so forth, and close the brackets. You can have around up to 252 such cells in this one formula. And here is your answer. There is another way of doing it. It's equal to sum, open the bracket, and select the cells for which you want to do the total like this, and close the bracket. It is called selecting a range. You get your answer. There is another way. Wow, we have too many options. Is equal to sum and type in the number. 5 plus 7 plus 13. I don't know what it is now. <laughs> it is 25. So this is how we do totals and there is a cool trick. I'll tell you, just press Alt and is equal to key together and it will automatically do the total of the continuous cell range of numbers and you'll get your answer. See? Easy. So we are done with the sum formula and average. Now we all understand that averages are not good. We, one should never be an average person, but you need to find out the average of sales that happened from January, February, March, April, May, and June. So how do we do that? There's a very simple formula for that. That is, is equal to, well, let's keep it, bring it over here itself. Is equal to A V E R A G E and open the bracket and it says select your numbers. The way we did with the sum formula, we can select our numbers one by one again, comma, 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 and another comma, and you can have this number also, so you can leave these two behind. And the average is 581. All right. That's one way. The other way is, is equal to average. And select this range. Close the bracket. You get the average. The average sales for January to June was 463. You can also select the average using this option where you type in the number 784, 442, 668. And I'm tired of typing more numbers. And the average of first three is 631. See, you now know how to do averages. Very simple. Count formula, beautiful formula, all right? Now, what it does is it counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers, all right? So I type in count and I select this complete area. This is how we apply it. Close the bracket. Now it says eight cells in this range contain numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and this is 8. Date is also a number. These three are text, so it is not sh showing them in this count. If I make this as a A, see it turned into 7. I'm pressing Ctrl Z to go back. So now you know how to use the count formula. And counter, beautiful formula again is equal to C-O-U-N-T-A and it says count the number of cells in a range that are not empty. Now, in this range, we want to find out the cells which are not empty. See? There are 11 cells in this range which are not empty. For example, now if I delete one over here, now we know there are 10 cells in this range that are not empty that contain anything. So that's the 
counter formula for you. Let's move on to the next one. These are all very, very useful formulas. Concatenate. All right. This is beautiful. Amazing formula. Is equal to concatenate. And it says joins several text strings into one text string. For example, I happen to have say first name and last name. Let's assume that this is the first name and this is the last name. Or let's say this is the country name and the city name. I want to have them together. So I will select the country name. All right. Enter a comma and now select the city name. Close the bracket and I will have India Delhi mentioned over here. But this is not looking nice. There is no space in between them. All right. Or in certain cases, you might want a, a comma in between them. So I'll change the approach. I type in is equal to on Kathy Nate. Open the bracket. Select text one. Press comma. Enter the code symbol. Enter a space, close the code symbol, do a comma, and now select the second cell which you want to have. Join, close the bracket, and you have India Delhi. We can edit this formula by double clicking over here, and between these codes, we can mention a comma symbol. Now, see what will happen. It's India, comma, Delhi, right? You can do this with first names and last names. Very common example. Now, if formula is a beautiful formula. Now, by the way, I'm showing you a shortcut version. So if you want to see even a more detailed version of these videos, you can go to my website, myelesson.org and check out all these videos. There are also practice files available there for you to download, which you can use for practicing. Okay, next topic is if formula. One of the most used formula. Okay. Say, okay, and let's see. Let's see how do we give an example. If formula is a logical formula which checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false. All right. So what we'll do is we'll type in if and it says logical test. My logical test can be say if this cell is equal to a text say India. All right, comma, value if true, say Hindi, which is the language of this country, and value if false, say if it is, we can mention the text as, okay, since you want a text as an answer, you have to mention it in quotes, and if it is not, India written over here, then we can mention other language. See, I'll show you an example with numbers also and close the bracket now. See, this is India, so we got an answer Hindi. If I type in USA over here, it becomes other language. Of course, USA is English. I am going to change this and now I'm going to show you an example. Say total sales. This is a bit advanced version of if formula. If the total sales is less than or equal to 3000 comma value if true give good job comma if value is false that means if it is lesser than this then sorry uh, we are doing it the other way if it is less than 3000 say work harder all right and if it is false that means if it is greater than 3000 then we say good job i learned that from hancock see it says work harder because your sales are less than 3000 if i make it 3100 good job see <laughs> So if you believe that I'm doing a good job, do give a thumbs up on this video, all right? And now we are going to use count if formula. Beautiful formula, very effective, very useful. Now, I want to find out is equal to count if counts the number of cells within a range that meet a given criteria. Now, 
I want to count the cells which contain the word USA or say BMW. All right, over here. So it's asking for range. So the range will be that range where your answer is located. Now this is a big range. See, I have selected this. Comma, now it says criteria. I can type in my criteria now. All right, I'm typing it over here. Criteria say BMW. Close the bracket. You have the answer. BMW is five times over here. All right, if I say I have, there's another way of doing this. If I mention Volvo over here and is equal to count if I want to find out the number of time Volvo is mentioned. So I select this range. Okay, I'm using a keyboard shortcut where I press shift plus control and the down arrow and everything got selected in that column. Column and it says criteria. Now I'm scrolling up and instead of typing in the criteria, I'm selecting this criteria. I am closing the bracket now. And the answer is again five. Volvo is also five. So let me make a Mazda as Volvo. It should be six now. See, this is six. So that's the counter formula. I'm going to show you another trick to delete stuff completely, even removing the formatting. So that's an additional for you, additional feature for you. In the home tab, select clear all, everything goes. Like that. Oh, VLOOKUP, everybody's favorite, right? So let's learn VLOOKUP now. So for VLOOKUP, say, we want to have this R names over here. Let's take this example. All right, we and we want to find out the total sales. All right, the total sales. And let me have only one name. I'm mentioning the header for you and total sales and I give it a space. All right, and I give it some bigger size. There we are. Okay, for Honda. Now we want to find out the total sales for Honda using VLOOKUP. So it's equal to VLOOKUP and we it says select your lookup value. So my lookup value would be Honda. Comma. Table array. Now table array would be that range which contains your answer. Be sure that it starts from that column which contains your lookup value, which is Honda. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I selected this area. Comma. It says column index number. Now this is the most important part. A column index number is simply way of Excel asking you from which column should I give you the result since the result is located in this column which is called total sales and its number should be what one two three four five but that's not the case because our range is starting from product so the column number would start from here one two three four type in four comma zero for a exact match press enter and you get the answer 3100 Instead of Honda, if I type Volvo over here, I'll get the answer. It's a different answer. If I type BMW over here, I'll get a different answer. See, this is a very, very simple way of using VLOOKUP formula. So now you know VLOOKUP. This itself deserves a thumbs up, guys. Do give a thumbs up to this video. And now a very important aspect, though this is not a formula, but a very important feature that is called creating a drop-down list. All right. Now, many a times while you are doing data entry, you might be required to create a drop down list. Say over here itself, I want to create a drop down list. So, how do I do that? So, I go over here, click in this cell, go to data, all right, and go to data validation. And from here, I say list, and it say, tells me a source. So, I'll select a source, I click over here, and say this is my source. All right, and I press OK. Now, see, my drop down list is ready. I can use my VLOOKUP with a drop down formula. See, the answer is changing. Wow, you learned drop down with VLOOKUP also. This also deserves a thumbs up or a good comment. <laughs> and sum if formula. This is very, very important. Now, a sum if formula says that based on a condition, you can get a result. Say, for example, is equal to sum if 
it says range criteria sum range so say for example i want to find out the total sales for just bmw from this range all right so how, what i will what will i do i'll select this area this range this range is the one which contains the criteria and then say i can have my criteria mentioned over here this can be my criteria or i can even type it in comma some range which cell do we want which range do we want to total up this is the range that we want to total up i selected it and now i'll close my bracket press enter and for austin martin the result is the total sum is 19290 if i choose say honda it will change to 180640 if i choose mercedes it changes again so this is sum if formula so guys today we covered 10 most used formulas in excel which you can also learn in even greater detail at my website myelesson.org and if you like this video do like click on this thumbs up button and if you have a question do mention it in the comments over here and i will surely reply to you and if you would like to subscribe to this channel then please do it will motivate me to further create more such videos and also you will get notified whenever i send out a new video on the web so hope you like this video until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning